Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and I'm really sorry I haven't uh, been online much uh, since early summer but I've been really really busy trying to get my vintage and retro shop up and running but I thought I'd just pop on real quick and uh, show you what I've done for my uh, 4th of July decorations this year I've just done the mantle and um, well Let's get started. Oh, I just want to show you this. I got this at Asda. Uh, it's a supermarket here in the UK. Just this real kitsch uh, photo frame. And the three... Um, the three parrots came on it. Already stuck on it. So I just thought that was really different, really cute. So, right, let's just take you round. As you may have noticed, I've changed my over-mantle uh, mirror up a little bit. Sorry guys, that's just me. Just in real sweats and sloggy clothes today, so you'll have to forgive me. So just round the new mirror, I have a tinsel garland in the red, white and blue. And I got that a couple of years back um, for the UK when we had um, the Queen's anniversary. Um, of her reign and we had lots of uh, Union Jack and red white and blue themed decorations so obviously our flags being the same colour was really ideal and then just tucked in the top a three plush padded um, sort of primitive looking stars just in the sort of grundy sort of type fabric and that one's very poignant it's got stars and stripes and America and red, white and blue written on it. So I've just got my uh, scarf as a runner, which is just like a silk scarf in the red, white and blue, continuing just continuing the theme. I've just got my uh, tea stained um, stars and stripes garland. And then just using the lexicon cards, I just uh, pinned on the words July. I thought that was quite nice. I really like the way that's hanging off the mantle. I think that looks really, really nice. And then just along the top of the mantle, I've just got this red, white and blue uh, pip berry wreath. And it's also got the uh, tin stars. I don't know if it's... I can pick one out for you. Yeah, it's got like the tin stars attached to it. I've just got a white um, bottle brush tree in the back there as a filler. Another sort of uh, barn tin star there. Uh, red twist candles in my holders. Um, a little um, Union, American Union inspired dressed bear. She's just on an old vintage book. Um, a vintage plate, and I think that's actually the independent scene on that plate, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that one. Uh, this was actually a nautical bathroom decoration, but I thought it was really uh, in keeping, so I thought that was quite nice. Uh, another little beanie bear there. Um, styled as the American flag yeah just another candle and then a red sparkly bottle brush tree there so I shall just back up so you can see and that's all I've done for this year obviously you know it not being a UK holiday it's very hard to find decorations for it so I grabbed stuff as and when that will tie in but this is probably the majority of the stuff I've got I think I've got a blue uh, white and blue vintage plate that I have with it and another bear but I haven't put those out that, I thought that was just enough I do want to get some maybe um, red white and blue ribbon just to tie around the oil lamps um, but I might have to get that Sunday because I've got to go to town on Sunday uh, for a night test. So I might go to the Haberdashers then and pick some of that up. 
But if not, that's basically um, what my little setup for the 4th of July looks like. Just simple, just, you know, just simple and plain. Very primitive, country style. Just uh, brings a little uh, celebration to um, my um, family across the pond and my friends and family across the pond. And as you guys who are regular viewers to my channel, you know that I like to decorate for any season really. So it's always nice to um, have an excuse to do a nice vignette. So I shall finish on the word July and I hope everyone in America has a wonderful uh, 4th of July and I shall speak to you all soon. Bye guys, take care.